All right, you guys, today we're going to do something unusual. I'm going to do some illustrations here in Illustrator. To be more precise, I'm going to vectorize this sketch with the power of the pencil tool. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop this image, which I'm going to recreate in vectors, and I'm going to go to the properties, and let's go to the opacity, decrease it, so it's going to be a little bit more transparent. Let's go back to the layers, lock it, and create a new layer. And here, make sure that the fill is on none, click on the none, click on the stroke, so it's going to be on the top, and I'm going to select the pencil tool double click and these are going to be the settings the smoothness we're going to push it all the way to 100 percent i also unchecked close paths when ends are within edit selected path all the way to 100 20 pixels click ok and from here all you need to do is i'm going to start from here make it curvy now if it's a little bit more difficult to create this curvature you can select here the rotate view tool so this way you can rotate it so you can draw with ease. I'm going to rotate it like this maybe, and I'm going to do it like this. Let's rotate it back. You can also press and hold shift, so it's going to snap it to its place. And by the way, because this option is activated, you can continue from this path. So if you go to this path, you can just drag, and, and as you can see, it is going to continue from that path. So anyways, I'm going to try to recreate this whole thing. Now, if you didn't connect them, you can select one of these anchor points with the direct selection tool. You also can press Ctrl Y so you can see the paths and just drag it on, arrange it, select both paths. Let's go to the properties and select connect selected endpoints. Ctrl Y and there you go. but I'm actually going to cut some of the areas, so I'm going to smoothen separately. I'm going to select Direct Selection Tool, select this anchor point, press and hold Shift, and I'm also going to select this one, and I'm going to go to the Anchor and Cut Path at Selected Anchor Point. And I'm going to smoothen this one, Object Path Smooth, there you go. Okay, great. So here we have it. I'm going to go back to the layers and uncheck the layer with a sketch. And now we're going to add the t-shirt, which is going to be made out of fill. So I'm going to select this arm right here. And I'm going to select the pen tool. And I'm going to add an anchor point here. And I'm also going to select this one. Add an anchor point here. Select the direct selection tool. Select this anchor point, And let's see. I'm going to go select this one and this one. Press and hold shift. There you go. And we're going to go to properties and cut them so they are going to be separated like this. I'm also going to separate this one and I'm going to cut everything right here in order to make a t-shirt. And about at least I'm also going to need one line of this so it's going to connect it. I'm going to double click on this so it's going to highlight, select the pen tool, add another anchor, anchor point here, cut it with the direct selection tool. And we're going to need like two copies of this, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F because we're going to need another copy for the pants as well. And now let's select the lines, which are going to create the T-shirt. I'm going to press and hold shift, select these lines. And then this, press Control G to group, double click. And I'm going to select the pen tool and just connect these guys right here. I'm also going to create that neck. I'm going to press and hold Alt and just drag this handle and going to make it like this. And I'm also going to connect these with the direct selection tool. And I'm going to select this one and just press Shift plus X. And that's how you have the T-shirt. Decrease the arm a little bit. So the stroke is going to match. And this is how you make a caricature quick and easy with the pencil and other pet tools here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.